Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 61. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3 if you haven't already. You can also go to codecrowdy.com and sign up for the newsletter over here on the left. Yesterday we went over how to create a Drupal 7 sub-theme. Today we're going to be extending that a little bit more, and I'm just going to show you how to use or how to use the color module or integrate the color module into your Drupal 7 sub-theme. As you remember yesterday, we made a quick sub-theme based on the Bartik module, which comes with Drupal 7. So I'll go ahead and show you how that looks, and we'll get started. So we have our in our themes directory of our site, we have Code Karate Bartik, which was the sub-theme we created yesterday has some CSS, has a template file, a logo screenshot, and a couple other things here. So what we want to do is we want to add color module support. So I'm going to flip over to the Bartik theme real quick and show you what that looks like. As you can see, if I come back to the home page now, here's the standard Bartik theme. It has color module support, meaning you can use these preset colors or set your own if you want and if you save it it of course changes the colors and a little bit of I guess just the colors and the design of the site look and feel so it has a little bit different look to it we're gonna make that work in our sub theme that we created so we're gonna go ahead and set this back as the default our sub theme we created yesterday as you can tell the styles are a little off, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our info file. I'm going to get rid of this style.css file. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to delete that. And this will make sure that our, it's not using the CSS from our sub-theme anymore, and it will in fact use the, the CSS from the base theme. I believe we're going to have to clear the cache. So give that a go. Refresh the page. It should look just like the standard Bartik theme, which it does. But you'll notice when you come into the settings on our sub theme, there's no color settings. So a couple things we have to do. It's not really complicated, but there are uh, quite a few steps. So we're going to come in here into the Bartik theme, and there's a color directory. We're going to start by copying that over to our sub theme. The next thing is if you notice in the info file, there's a style sheet called for colors.css. I'm going to copy that over into our sub theme and save that. I'm going to hop back into the base theme again, and I'm just going to start by copying this colors.css file and put it in the CSS folder of our sub theme. Now that we have that, we're going to open the template.php file in our sub-theme. And I go ahead and get rid of that. And then I'm going to also open the template.php file from the Bartik theme. There's two preprocess functions we need to add in here. The first one is Bartik preprocess or Bartik process HTML. So I guess they're not they're actually process functions, not preprocess functions. We'll copy these. We're going to paste those in, and we're going to remove everything but the color module portion. We also need to change the name because our theme name is now different. So now we have these two preprocess functions in our subthemes template.php file. Save that. We're also going to open up that color directory. I'm going to show you what these files look like just so you can see them. We're only going to be modifying one of them, I believe. So we open all those files up. The first one is color.inc. This one defines the different fields here, and this one defines the different schemes. So here you can change your own themes if you would wish. So if Blue Lagoon is the default, you can of course change the default 
colors for each of these sections. It has all of those color options. It also references the CSS file, the logo file. I'm going to go ahead and change this to Code Karate Bark Dick. I believe that needs to be done. The CSS file is just relatively straightforward. There's nothing you should have to touch in here. The preview is just the preview. And I don't believe you have to touch anything in the JavaScript file either. So really all you needed to do was make a small change in this color.inc file and we're gonna clear the cache and give it a go. We'll see if it works. Clear the cache, hop up to back to our appearance page, click on settings and now you can see we have color integration. We're gonna give it a test to make sure it actually works. Try slate. You can see the preview is working. We'll save it and it works. Perfect. So that's really all there is to it. Then you can of course come into this color.inc file and change these different schemes and also you may want to open up and take a look at this colors.css file. This is where this file needs to be in place in order for this entire thing to work. So take a look at those, start creating your own color schemes and just add them in on the bottom. For instance, we can just, just as a quick example, we'll call this Code Karate and we'll make, just to keep it relatively simple, just change one value in there so it's a little bit different than the slate. Now if we come back, may have to clear the cache, and hopefully it'll show up. Okay, for some reason it's not, so let's figure out why. Change the title, see if that was doing it. Everything else looks good. Try it one more time. Hope for the best. There it is. You can see it's a little bit darker on top than the slate was. Everything else looks pretty close to the same. Save it and we should be good to go. And that's all for today. So thanks again for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you haven't already, and let me know if there's anything you want me to cover in a future episode. Thanks again.